of injuries to workers. Manual handling outranks all other activities in the workplace and accounts for a whopping 40% of this country's workers' compensation claims. In a healthcare environment, manual handling is any activity requiring force to push, pull, lift, lower, transfer, or in some way move or support an inanimate object, person, or body part. It also includes repetitive tasks like typing, stripping and making beds, sorting, and packing. Manual handling activities you might undertake in your spare time include housework, washing the car, restraining, and throwing. Not all tasks are hazardous, but because most of us perform some form of manual handling in our work and everyday lives, we are at some risk of a manual handling injury. Manual Handling Injuries Manual handling injuries include sprains and strains, back injuries, soft tissue injuries to wrists, arms, shoulders, neck or legs, hernias and chronic pain. Of all of these, back injuries are the most prevalent. Manual handling occurs in almost all working environments, so we can confidently say that you could be at risk, no matter how minimal you believe your manual handling activities to be. In this training program, we are going to share several ideas with you as to how you can minimise the chances of an orthopaedic surgeon ever preparing you for back surgery. It's really important that you know that a manual handling injury is hardly ever caused by one single isolated action, but rather an accumulation of weeks, months, years of bad habits or techniques. Just as this paper clip progressively becomes weaker and weaker through improper overuse, so too can our musculoskeletal system. Once this happens, it could be something as simple as tying up your shoelaces, 